Hi everyone, and welcome to this three-part series in which you will learn the entire song of Rainbow Connection from the Muppet movie. Um, I wanted to do a three-part series again, but this time in the first video we'll go over the chords of the song. In the second one we'll learn an easy finger-picking pattern for the entire song. And then in the third video we'll do an extended version of the easy finger-picking pattern. So if you get stuck on the chords, you can just repeat that video. If you get stuck on the easy finger picking pattern, you can just do that video again instead of like feeling overwhelmed maybe. So again, in this first video, we'll learn the chords, but I'm first going to play for you the entire song. So don't worry yet. This is, this is just a preview of what you're going to learn if you do the entire three part series. There we go. So let's go over the chords of the song. There are six, <laughs> there are six chords. Um, and I'll first, we're first just going to go over the uh, chords and then go over the different parts of the song and the chord progressions within them. So we'll just break them up in three parts. So first the six chords. There we go. We have an A. Remember, if I count strings, I start counting from the bottom up. So the lower string is the first string and the upper string is the fourth string. So an A chord, we use our index and middle finger. We place our index finger on the first fret of the third string and our middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string. And it sounds like... Then we have our G flat minor and we play that one by simply adding our ring finger to the second fret of the second string. And it sounds like... Then we have our D chord. We use our three, uh, uh, our index, our middle and ring finger, and we place them on the second frets of the second, third and fourth string. So it sounds like... Then we have our E7, and we play that one by placing our ring finger on the second fret of the first string, our middle finger on the second fret of the third string, and our index finger on the first fret of the fourth string. Then later in the song we have a D flat minor 7, and we play it by uh, uh, putting our index and middle finger on the first fret of the third and fourth string, and our pinky on the second fret of the first string, and it sounds like... And then the sixth chord in the song is a B minor, and we use a beret to play that, and what that means is that we press down our index finger on the second fret of all strings, and we use our pinky to also press down on the fourth fret of the fourth string, and it sounds like... Now let's go over the different parts of the song. So the song starts with an A. It then continues with a, a G flat minor. Then it continues to D. And then to an E7. So you can see, you start with the A, you simply add your ring finger, then you release them all but and play the D. And then keep your middle finger on the uh, second fret of the third string and place your index and ring finger accordingly. 
And we repeat that chord progression four times. So it sounds like this. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? And what's on the other side? Third time. Rainbows are visions, but only illusions. And rainbows have nothing to hide. Cool. So then the second part of the song, it basically exists of two chords, the D and the D flat minor 7. But we first start with playing the D chord four times. So it's what's so amazing, what keeps us stargazing. Then we continue to D flat minor 7. What do they think we might see? Also four times. Then we get to the third part and we play that chord progression two times. And the chord progression is we start with a B minor. One day, one day will E7 find it. A, the rainbow. G flat minor. Connection. Repeat that. The lovers, the dreamers and me. And from there... You basically continue with the first part again. So let's put that all together. The chords will appear on the screen and there we go. Why are there so many songs about rainbows and what's on the other side? Rainbows are visions but only illusions and rainbows have nothing to hide. Second part. What's so amazing? What keeps us stargazing? What do they think we might see? One day we'll find it. The rainbow connection. The lovers, the lovers. The dreamers and me. Brilliant! So those are the chords for Rainbow Connection. In the next video you'll learn an easy finger picking pattern uh, for these chords. Thank you for watching.